Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to a brand new experiment, sort of take two on this experiment. As you'll see if you've watched my channel, that we did the the sort of uh, player and son management player wonder kid thingy majig that didn't go too well because the manager never got a job. And for me, the player one was he was just. He was just too good. So in this episode, we're going to look at the Wonder Kid player and the first five years of his career. But rather than making like the world's best Wonder Kid, it's just more, he's going to be very good, hopefully, unless he struggles to find a good club or doesn't develop early on. But I don't want him moving straight to Man City and then scoring 100 goals for England, because that's what's going to happen pretty much every time. So in this experiment, we're doing a mother and son. So the mother is manager of, um, what's his face? Cardiff Met Uni. And the son is the legendary Harry Owen. Let's just bring him up. So I'll show you the, the mum quickly. If you want to know what happens to the mum, then you need to go and watch the other video that comes out alongside this. She's a very good young manager. She is 31 and the son's 17. So, you know, you do the math there. But um, she's a very good manager. But go check the other video that comes out at the same time for that. So let's have a look at the mighty Harry Owen. Obviously, in real life, the legend that is Harry Owen is 21. But we've made him 17. And we've made him slightly better, and we've given him 200 potential. So he's got the chance to make there, but he does need to improve quite a lot. So we're going to follow him over the course of the first five years to see how he gets on. Obviously, Cardiff Met Uni are an amateur team, so he do, he's not contracted. So at any time, a team can come in and just give him a contract. There's no transfer fee needed, so he could go anywhere. And he does start off the game wanted by TNS, which is the biggest team in Wales, which is fair enough. So, like I said, he's got well-rounded stats for a young striker, um, uh, attributes. I always get told off calling them stats. Um, but he looks like a decent player to begin with. So let's go on ahead at the end of the first season and see how he's got on. Is he going to be at Car I doubt he's gonna, very much going to be at Cardiff Met Uni. I'm expecting at least a TNS move, but more likely... He's still a good kid. I, it's hard to judge where this sort of player... I don't think the Man Cities of this world are going to come in for him. I don't think he's that level early on. But they might take a punt. You never know. They just swallow up all the best youngsters, don't they? So, OK, let's have a look. So here we are. End of the first season. I haven't looked. We're going to just have a, a, a sneaky check now. I'm going to say maybe like what somebody, somebody that's sort of like a championship side, maybe, that would take a punt on a youngster like that, that could develop into that sort of player, is my guess. Um, where I put, I put him on the shortlist, didn't I? Um, player shortlist. I'm a bloody genius. He's gone to Middlesbrough. Has he? Is he? It's not known anywhere. Okay, he's loan listed. So let's have a look. So he played for Cardiff Met Uni. He played six games. So they, they stole him quite early on. And he's gone to uh, Middlesbrough on a free, which is, which is a great shout. This is going to be really interesting. This is much more interesting than just going, oh, look, he's gone to Man City because he's really good at football. I want this guy to work his way up and have a good career. Even if he never makes it to the top leagues, I'd rather have that and just see, follow his journey around. Um, but that is pretty damn decent. Um, has he improved anything on... Wow, there's some improvement here, my friends, as we can see, because there's lots of tens in the physicals to start off with. We'll have a look at the end of the episode to see the attribute changes over the first five years. But lots of improvements. Like I said, he's got 200 potential, so he's going to improve quickly. And he's at a decent club like Middlesbrough that has good training facilities, good coaches and stuff, which is really, really going to help him develop. I think he could make it. I think he could actually become a decent, a good premiership player, at least... Now he's got to like a, a really good club. But whether they keep hold of him, he's only valued at 39 grand. He's got another year left on his deal. He is loan listed, which is interesting. I wonder if he'll just get a seat. He needs, a, he needs to play football now. He needs to get a season on loan. I don't. He could play for Middlesbrough, maybe a bit part player, but I think he'll more likely get a loan move to another lower end championship side, if I had to guess. So let's have a look at the end of next season. So here we go. End of season two. Not looked, as always, let's go, not look in the job centre. Um, player shortlist, Portsmouth. Okay, I'm assuming loan, because that would be weird if they just sold him on. But, oh, okay, he's developing again. Portsmouth, not the best training facilities in the world. That's the problem with loaning. But did he get game time? Yes, he did. Played 30 games and scored 11 goals. So one in three is not... You know, set in the world at light. He is capped at the under-19 level of England. His value is now 110 grand. Um, and he, he's only got, again, a month left on his contract, which is a worry, unless that's just the loan contract. 
didn't, you know, it's his first season of proper football, so I'm not expecting him to set the world alight. I think that's a decent performance. I don't know how, how good Portsmouth are. Um, in the, they finished third in the league, to be fair. Let's season their season preview, just so I can get an idea. So they season preview was eighth. So they performed above their station with the help of the mighty Harry Owen. I'd expect a couple more assists because he's a decent in the air as well as being a, a good finisher. But 6.88 is not too bad for a first season in football. The big question is, is he going to get a new contract? Like, you'd be mad if you're a municipal manager not to give him a new contract because he's a very good talent. So let's go on to the next season and have a look. So end of season three, what... Okay, if I have to guess what's going to happen, I'm going to say that he's not gone on loan again. I think he'll have a season at Middlesbrough. I'm not sure if he'll be their main striker. I think he'll have lots of sub appearances, maybe sort of 10 starts. That's my guess. Let's have a look at him. Player shortlist. Okay, so he's still at Middlesbrough, as expected. He's got an average rating, so he must have played. Oh my God, I'm a genius! 13 starts in the league, 12 sub-appearances, 8 goals, no assists again. But, come on, he's, he's developing very, very... This is like the perfect, if I could have planned this better, this is a perfect level of development. He's getting to that stage where I think next season he could become their main man, and then I think Premiership teams are going to start looking, unless, unless Middlesbrough got promoted. <laughs> of course they did, it's Middlesbrough. Um, they finished 15th. Um <laughs> Is that better or worse than what they're expected to do? Um, oh, worse. They're supposed to so much, so much worse. They're expected to finish fourth. Uh, that's not good. But Harry Owen has had a decent, decent year. Um, lots of sub appearances, obviously. So it's never, it's a bit harder to work out how efficient he's been. But no assists. I'm a little bit disappointed. A bit selfish. Of you there. Um, but overall, probably a better record. Good average of 7.01. Anytime you get above 7 as a, with the AI manager is pretty good rating. Um, has he got any... Uh, has he been capped at under 21? Two under 21 caps and one goal. He's got to be on the radar of the big teams. If Middlesbrough don't get promoted, which it doesn't look like they're going to anytime soon. Um, Portsmouth, overall best 11. Best season 11 for Portsmouth. Um, nothing for Middlesbrough this season. Obviously, it's hard to get in when you're not uh, the main man. Um, but these, um, that, that was back with the Portsmouth Days team of the week. Oh, it's, it's, it's the other way around. Why is it show you the... That's confusing. Why is that? That's 2017, 18, 20, 18, 19. Why isn't that date order? That just seems bizarre. Okay, let's have a look at Middlesbrough this year. That's what we want to see. Um, winners of the Under-23 Cup, Team of the Week a couple of times, and their seasonal best 11. Wow, their other strikers must have been dreadful if he wasn't even their main striker really, won it? Um, and then the awards, um, which is the same, same thing. Um, and we don't have to look at the league. Sorry, Middlesbrough fans, let's not rub you in. Okay, end of the fourth season. Is he going to be, I think, this one I reckon he's going to be the main man at Middlesbrough. So here we are. I think he's going to be the main man. I, I, this, is, this part of me, because Middlesbrough struggled so much, that you, I think he might have been sold. I think he's ripe for the picking. Let's have a look on our shortlist. He is... No, he's still at Middlesbrough, but he's getting paid quite... Oh, that's quite a poor average rating. Only valued at 675 grand. Um, I'm not sure how, because he's really good. Uh, he's 21 years old now, five under 21 caps, three goals. So he's prolific for England. Put him in a good team and he'll score your goals. He... In the championship, really, really struggled. Only six goals in 20 starts and seven sub-appearances. <laughs> Only one assist. He doesn't like to pass it, does he? That's fair enough. He's lethal. He's a lethal finisher, we'll go with. Where did Middlesbrough finish? Ninth. They had a much better season. Who's their key... Like, who are their main strikers then? We've got Harry Owen. Um, oh, we've got Jamie Vardy's there. Okay, well, that's going to be tricky to get in the squad then, isn't it? Jamie Vardy in the championship... Uh, but they don't seem to have many other strikers, so maybe just playing one up top with Jamie Vardy and then Harry Owen is his sort of replacement rotational option. They played a similar amount of goals. Vardy scored a few more goals. So he's on a par with Jamie Vardy. That's not too bad. He's got, how many years? Three years, a three-year deal now. I'm surprised nobody's come in for him. I, if I was a in the Premiership manager, I would definitely be looking to sign this guy. I don't know what sort of money Middlesbrough have got if they're in financial trouble in any sort of way. They're rich, so they don't need to sell, so they, they can hold off any sort of big bids that come in. So let's go to the end of the fifth season, have a look how he's done, and then we'll compare the attributes to see how much he's improved. 
So here we are, end of fifth season. Let's go. I always click the job center. It's just like default looking for a job because I get sacked so much. Um, let's have a look how he's doing. He's still at Middlesbrough. He's now his value shot up to two point nine million pounds. Now he's only a pretty poor average again. He's got to get out of there, mate. Get out of there. Get out. Look at that. So he's their main man now. Thirty nine starts, two sub appearances, and only eleven goals. I think this is you know there's no real weaknesses in his game. So I think this is more to do with. The, how bad Middlesbrough are, to be honest. I think if he wants to become a top striker, look, because look at his England record. Six goals in nine starts for the under-21s. Uh, no assists again. Will he make double-figure double, double figure assists for the entire season? Like, his strike rate is just looking poor, but I think that's Middlesbrough holding him back, definitely. Middlesbrough's holding him back. Where do they finish in the league? Uh, eighth again. That's interesting. Maybe they just don't play that sh sort of attacking... I'm taking it Jamie Vardy's got old or retired or something. Oh, he's got an injury. What's wrong with him? Broken lower leg. He's in, let's actually have a look at his injury um, history, just in case to see if he's had any bad ones. He was two months out with a bru I was going to say with a bruised knee, a hip injury, and a lower back stress fracture. So nothing too a sports hernia, strain, sprained knee ligaments. This is um, this one's quite a nice, nasty one. A broken leg. This is going to be a killer. I wonder if this all sort of hurt his, how fast he's improving against Burnley. Dirty, dirty Burnley. Um, that is a proper major injury. He's had a few. He's not like Daniel Sturridge levels of injury prone, but he's got a few. Been a bit unlucky. Um, <clears throat> but let's have a look now to see, sort of compare how he got on from the start, how different his attributes have got from the start to the end of this five-year period. So as you can see, as expected, massive, massive improvements to pretty much every area of his game. I'm just sort of, I'm looking on both screens to sort of compare here. I wonder if there's anything that sort of stands out as unusual. Like all, you expect his finishing and his first touch and his composure to improve. His free kick taking has gone up to six, which is great. Still rubbish, but good for him. Um, long shots has gone up. His physicals. Let's have a look at his physicals. So they've been acceleration has gone up to 16 as well as his strength. So massive improvements there. Obviously his biggest attribute now is those two. Um, his leadership's gone up to 12. What did I give him to begin with? Eight. So that's not improved nicely. His determination has gone down one. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Not ideal. Um, his teamwork, vision, work rate, that sort of stuff hasn't improved as much as you'd hope. His bravery has gone down. He's not as, I suppose that could be to do with the injuries. You get a couple of injuries, you're not going to be as brave going into a tackle, I think. But obviously, massive improvements. I'm surprised he's still at Middlesbrough, to be honest. Um, I'm very surprised. But there we go, my friends. That is the first episode done, the first five years. So in a few days' time, we're going to come out with the second batch, which will be the next five years uh, of both the manager, his mum, and him so make sure you check out the other video that it's lots of fun it's interesting i've never really done a proper management one before to, to sort of follow their journey i'm hoping they link up together that's the idea they both mary becomes liverpool manager and signs harry owen that would be the ideal way to go but thank you very much for this watching this video guys if you enjoyed it please do leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my other stuff if you haven't before we've got a great journeyman save other experiments just finished an aston villa save um spoiler alert. <laughs> didn't go quite as well. um but we're also starting a non sort of non-league save the proper evo stick altering them save in the new year so you can make sure you check out that one make sure you check out the next episode in this one it'll probably um be just before christmas and then the next one will be in the new year so thank you very much for watching i'll see you soon bye bye